morning. This is Joy Hansen, and welcome to day number 52 of my, wait, 53. <laughs> Whatever it says in the comments section, day 53 of my 100-day challenge. And what my 100-day challenge is, um, is transforming. Um, but what it started out as was um, an affiliate marketing challenge that I was doing with a group of people for 100 days. And after, you know, so I'm on day 53 now, and one of the things that I have identified is um, what am I doing that is most leveraged? Like, what do I want to be doing? And so my 100 day challenge has sort of changed a little bit. And um, so what it is now is um, basically what are the things that are needed in order to reach a goal that takes a long time, for example, 100 days. And so the hot tip for that today is don't lie. All right, so what is this? Okay, so I read this quote this morning. So, all right, so this is a quote from a woman whose name I will find in a moment, the wife of Henry Luce. And so her name is Claire Booth Luce. I would say my worst failure, paradoxically, was rather a long, drawn-out series of relative successes, none of which were in theater. And so, for her, theater was her, like, her thing. And so, as we explore this idea of not lying to ourselves, um, about what really lights us up, about what really makes us happy. And so I'm gonna read it again. I would say my worst failure paradoxically, was rather a long, drawn-out series of relative successes, none of which were in theater. <clears throat> so, as I am um, rebuilding my life, I'm offered many, many, many choices, all of which lead to success. So, for example, the 100-day challenge that I was doing um, was about internet marketing, which is awesome, but that's not my thing. And for me to spend hours a day on a computer looking at how to tweak things to um, have successful internet marketing, it's not my thing. So as I learned not to lie to myself, that was one of the things I had to identify was something that maybe needed to be reprioritized. And so, um, so I have a lot of things, but what is my theater, you know, as far as that quote goes, sort of a fill in the blank. What is my thing that I want to be putting my life energy to? Um, what is the thing that I want to live for? Is it for internet marketing? Probably not. So what I'm exploring is what is the one thing, or the many things, because I like to do a lot of things, but what is that one thing that only I can do and that only you can do? I'm pro I have, you know, I've got like essential oils in my life and I've got all these like um, uh, protein powders and all of which can be made into a business, but is that really what I want to be putting my life energy into? And after my mom died, I did not have a lot of passion for life. And even now I notice as I'm rebuilding like who I am and what I want to be about and what I want to put my life energy into, um, you know, there's still sort of a heaviness to my life. And you know, I'm working all that out and figuring out what, what it is that I want to do now. This <laughs> life is so interesting. I'm like, oh, who's, there's like all this activity down here. So excited to see all of you. And so 
creating a life that expresses truly who I am at the core of who of my being and um, what I came here to do and I'm learning what that is still but it's kind of scary um, you know I kind of wanted to sort of just float by um, after my mom decided to go to another fancy plane here on this planet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of getting used to that and building up my fire again, like why I want to be here and what I want to do. So um, it requires a great deal of reflection and introspection and that stuff is not always comfortable. And so um, I'm just feeling around all that and figuring out what that is for me. So as I explore that stuff, it's often easier to think that sort of leaving those cobwebs of pain and um, suffering and stuff, just sort of leaving them in the corners so that nobody can see them, so that I can't see them. There's this illusion that we have that that makes it easier and it makes it less painful, but it does not. And eventually that stuff comes out. So it's kind of like when you squeeze a water balloon, the water just goes into another part of the balloon. And that's how it is with our emotions. So, you know, anytime I'm suppressing um, a pain, it just comes up somewhere else. So <laughs> right now I got this stupid pain in my stomach and I have been dealing with it actually probably um, since right after my mom died, which is, has been really interesting because when, I'm sure this happens for other people, but what happened for me is when we've built up this thing around cancer that it's really super scary. And so, you know, after my mom died of um, whatever cancer that was, thank God, I can't remember. But it was like a fear came up in me, like in that area of my body. And so I have to learn to move through whatever fear that is. And um, so, I'm not able to like leave those cobwebs just hanging out because they come out. And so I'm learning how to clean that stuff up and move through it and work through it. And so, um, you know, this quote of <sighs> well, I got to figure out how to transition from crying. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to look at my sheet again. Um, so, until I'm willing, which I am now, because I'm not willing to suffer any longer with like pain. I'm just not. Um, and so I have to look into like, how do I clean up these cobwebs? And until I clean up those cobwebs, I'm not going to be living the life that I'm truly meant to live and the reason that I'm here and all that goodness. And so, um, so that's my inquiry. How am I going to clean up these cobwebs? And um, that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow, or at least start the, start the inquiry. And so, um, so for now, the question is for me and potentially for you, you know, that quote, a rather long drawn out, her biggest failure was a rather long drawn out series of relative, relative successes, none of which were in fill in the blank for you. For her, it was theater. So ask yourself, what is your theater? What is it that if you get to the end of your life without doing, it would be a failure to you. So that is the question of the day, and that is the question for myself. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow to talk about cobwebs. 
and much love to you. Happy Monday. Make it a great one.